Good morning, guys. Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to a, another adventure with Peggy and Don. Yeah. I know I know this is all things Peggy, but it's Peg and Don right now. <laughs> so um, today we don't really have anything on the agenda. So we're just trying to show you an average day of full-time RV life. Okay. So for the most part, <laughs> we get up, we have breakfast, we go out for a ride, we see what mischief we can get into for the day. <laughs> yeah. I'm this park is just absolutely beautiful. We're still loving it here. A lot, uh, like on the weekends, the place gets really busy, but since we've been here, we found that during the week, it's not so many people here, so... When I say it is peaceful, if you want to get peace, this is the place to come if you're ever in the area. I've seen deer run across the front of our trailer. <laughs> we have squirrels. We got two squirrels that stays in the tree. We got two squirrels staying in the tree next to us. It's Chester and Isaac. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you you didn't name the squirrels. I did. Well, here's the problem, though. See, Chester got more white on his chest. Right. But I'm beginning to think that Chester might be a girl because Isaac is always chasing him around and stuff, sniffing his tail. Oh. So... I'm beginning to think Chester's a girl, so I might have to rename Chester to like Chelsea. Chester. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, no, see, you know we got too much time on our hands, and we are sitting here naming squirrels. Well, see, I thought squirrels like hop from tree to tree. I didn't know they stayed in one tree and stuff. So these two <laughs> that, stay in that, that tree. is too fun. So turn right. To this is why train. you're always outside. That like Donald loves being outside. I did not realize how much of an outdoorsman my husband was <laughs> until we did this RV life. Like, he doesn't Enjoy want to stay inside. To right to no, nah, I like to go outside and just sit down, even when there's no music playing or anything yeah. else or there's nobody out there. I go sit down and see what I can see. I see these. I'm still doing my bird watching thing. I don't know yeah. what kind of bird has, like, greenish yellow wings with a yellow chest and a red nose, a red bill. You I don't should know what Google kind. it. Yeah, I'm going to start Googling the birds and stuff like that, but we see a couple of those that fly by. interesting. And I saw a bird that flew like a hummingbird. It flew in one spot, right? It hovered above the ground, about two feet above the ground. Uh -huh. It hovered in one spot like a hummingbird does, but it was way too big. It was like about the size of a dove. So it's like, I don't know what kind of bird that is. So I'm seeing stuff and it's just interesting to me to see new <laughs> stuff. I know I'm just like going off on all kind of just nonsensical stuff, but no, it's just kind of interesting thing you see when you're sitting out in front of the RV. How cool is it? Wow. We've had some low flying planes this morning. Yeah. yeah. They're probably doing some kind of exercise, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. But anyway, so it was supposed to thunderstorm. To Achi Creek Road. All you know, for the last two days, but yesterday we just got a little rain, and this morning we got a little rain, so it's kind of sticky outside. So I don't know what we're gonna be able to do. Like I'm scared to ride my bike because I feel like the, you know, with the moisture, yeah, the ground might be a little slick. Yeah, if you take a Because there's a lot time. of trees around that area, and I'm just. Baby, I'm 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 guarding this new knee. I'm just like I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, the ground is pretty slick. I went for a little yeah. walk this morning, and I was just slipping a little bit walking. So yeah, it's a little too slick to be outside right now. So I think today would be a good day for us to try fishing. Oh yeah. See, here's the thing. So I need to get some bait because I don't have Cliff to help me out and stuff. I need yeah. to get some. Um, they got catfish out there, and it's catfish bait with liver and cheese at Walmart. I might give you a bag of that catfish bait, and then we can um, <laughs> head out to the uh, the safe bank fishing. You know, I'll make sure the area is clear and stuff first, and maybe we we'll get in about See, an here, hour. Here's fishing. my problem: like we're we're in Georgia, mm -hmm. and so you know, alligator are a thing. <laughs> the alligators are a thing. Because when we 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 were stationed in Fort Gordon, not Fort Gordon, Fort Stewart. We were stationed at stationed Fort at Stewart. Fort Stewart, yeah. And I had the grandkids for the summer. And I took them to a play area on post, but we were at Hunter, not... Yeah, it was on Hunter. We were on Hunter Army Air Force. And so I'm just looking around, and I'm reading the signs, and one sign said, be careful of alligator. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? Yeah. I'm at the car screaming for the kids, get in this car! <laughs> now, we hadn't seen any. <laughs> no gators in sight. But I'm just like, ah! Yeah. But anyway, there's a sign 
it's no, there's no sign. There's a sign is by it? the marina that says beware of alligator. Yeah. See, it says please be wary of alligators or something like that. Here, now but. see that gets me. But it's like I said, baby, it's a. Pre I've been there. I uh, didn't see anything. I, no, I'll get I'm gonna out go. First. I'm gonna go. Yeah. But I'm just like. I'm gonna be looking behind. Like I'm scared of everything. Now you know if I'm scared of a cat and a dog, what I'm gonna be? A, <laughs> an alligator. But this should be funny. So we're gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna try. Like I just don't want to do like live grasshoppers and stuff. No, like that's that. what I'm saying. Yeah. Though. So I'm, I'm gonna get some like so, liver and cheese bait from our Walmart. And then we'll okay. Be so to we're go. gonna go fishing today if the weather permits. <laughs> but right now we're gonna go and. Um, we gotta go pick up my medicine because I, I had my physical before we left, which is very important. So I went and got my physical and I am severely vitamin D deficient. Yeah. So um, she's prescribing me this medicine. So we have to go pick that up and plus the other medicines that I take. So I had to go get that because I wanted to make sure I had everything I need before we got too far on and when I talked to her I told her what we were going to do and uh, my doctor was like that is so cool she said you won't believe it but I just had another couple in here last week who were living on their RV full time and she was doing the exact same thing and I was like okay and then she was like and don't forget your COVID shot and I'm like yeah. <laughs> okay we hear you we're not forcing this on anybody but we have to do what we feel is necessary yeah. for us. And that's the end of that conversation. And that's it for that. <laughs> so we've been checking on our other parks. And the next park I'm really excited about, because the next RV resort that we're going to, is the sister to this uh, RV park. It's owned by the Army, but it's not on a military base. Mm -hmm. And it's not too far from the beach. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to just laying out on the beach, reading a good book, having maybe a drink or two. I'm looking forward to that. Because I told Donald, I was like, if we run into people who are swimmers, I'm going to have to learn how to swim. I've always wanted to learn how to swim. Somebody's got to teach me how to swim. Because when I was younger, I was fast. And all I wanted to do was put on the bathing suit and look cute. I wasn't trying to get <laughs> wet. <laughs> Man, I, I didn't even bring my snorkel gear. Don't you start that mess. What? Don't you start I, I snorkeled <laughs> in the Bahamas. You you did. I you snorkeled did. in the Bahamas. And Peggy's like, well, well, you can't swim. Well, guess what? I was floating. <laughs> I, I, if I can find that video, I don't care whether I can swim or not. I was floating and I was snorkeling. And I was like moving under the water. So if that's not swimming, I don't, I don't know, know what, what is. is. I don't, I don't know what is. I don't so know what, you were close. Here's the thing, I can only do it when I'm wearing snorkel gear, so it don't really count as me being able to swim. But with snorkel gear on, I swam. So when he got his gear on, baby, he is a beast. He's a force to be reckoned with. I'm glad you I'm glad you see my so side. I, I see it, baby. I see I see your vision for yourself. <laughs> I don't care. I swim, I swim yes, with snorkel gear. Yes, you do. I love it. I love it. But anyway, like, like I'm looking forward to stuff like that. But in the meantime and in between time, <laughs> we are going to tighten up on this fishing. There you go. Um, if Peggy catches the fish before I do, I just want to let y'all know that as, as understanding and as loving a husband as I am, I will be highly upset. I will be angry. Well, maybe I should go. I will go. be frustrated. <laughs> no, maybe, I wouldn't be upset you know, with you. I'll you know, be upset with myself. But, but it's always that beginner's luck thing. You know how people say beginner's luck. I'm a beginner. Luck. But you already had your begin. This is my <laughs> begin. <laughs> you already had your begin. It's my begin. Beginner's luck. I'm just going to let y'all know. Well, well, how about this? I won't record it, and then I'll hurry up and give you... Look, I won't record it, and I'll hurry up and give you mine. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'll hurry up and give I don't you need mine. your pity fish. I don't need it. I, if you catch one, I'm going to record it. I'm going to be proud of you. I'm just going to be highly upset. What if I get out there, and I'm, I'm like... She catch like three or four fish, and I just right, sit there and call like, one. What we gonna do? And you know what? I haven't cleaned a fish in years. I don't know if I can still do it. Cause my dad used to go fishing, but I was too young to go. I remember this was like in the early 70s. They would go and 
he would come home with the fish and it would be wrapped in white paper. Yeah. He might have bought the fish. I don't know if he went fishing, but it was wrapped <laughs> in white paper. And I remember, you know, my mother cleaning the scales and stuff off the fish and opening it up. But let me just say, that was the best fried fish you ever want to eat. Like fresh, fresh. Yeah. Well, they said they got catfish out here, and that's they the kind do. of bait we got. And we went at Alatoona. That guy, he caught a 10-pound catfish. A 12-pound largemouth bass. Oh, that's what he said. A 12-pound 12 12 pound pound largemouth bass. When I tell you the excitement on that guy's face, you I think was he just like, won a gold medal in the Olympics. Boy. I know. he's Because uh, we were waiting for them to back their uh, boat out of the water. Mm -hmm. And Donald was like, you know, take your time. We're in no rush. We're just walking around. We're just driving around. He's like, let me tell you what just happened. <laughs> I caught a 12 pound large mouth bass. And I mean, tell me anybody who will listen. Yeah, but no, he, like you would have thought that guy just struggled. So can you imagine if Donald does the same thing? Boy. I'll make three I, videos about it. I, I swear. <laughs> we, we would never. Now, let me catch that same fish. I'll be very proud of you. Would you? I'll be very proud of you. You were such a good Congratulations. Reason. But I don't baby. believe it for a minute. I'll be very proud of it for real. I just have something deep down in my heart. <laughs> See, Donald is the nice one in this relationship. <laughs> good morning. Hey, good morning. Have a blessed day. Thank you, you too. too. Thank you. See, Donald is the nice, kind one in the relationship. <laughs> What is your love language? What do you I, think your love language is? I think is? it's got, got to have something to do with respect. I don't, I don't really know the love language. I don't and stuff either. Because like some, somebody asked me that the other day. They were like, so what is your love language? I was like, I don't know. Maybe that's something we need to look into. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. Yeah. We're going to have to look it up. And we're going to have to come back and tell you guys what we found out our love language Because I... <laughs> I'm just, I saw it on TV one day and then somebody asked me and they was like, so what, what is his love language? What is your love language? I'm like, uh, love? I don't know. <laughs> Being loving? <laughs> he is my friend. He's my soulmate. He's my yeah. everything. I don't know. Y'all got to tell us about this love language stuff because I have no clue what love language is. No. We gonna, I should have. I should be. We've been to a couple marriage streets where they brought it up, but we'll probably just. But they never said the word love language, right? Don't know. I don't, cause I think I would have remembered it. No, I'm still trying to figure out my love language. I'm all. We're all over the place. <laughs> just, hey, however the conversation goes, it yeah. goes. That's what happened when we get in the car. We don't even know where the conversation gonna go. We just start talking and like, I hope we get enough, but it's just. It just stuff keeps coming up. Everything connects to yeah. something else. So, right. And so anyway, we were talking about the marriage retreat and that was a really good marriage retreat mm -hmm. because this time the people were actually married yes. <laughs> who was doing the retreat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like normally they'll let the chaplain do it, but sometimes he could be a single guy yeah. or something like that. But the guy that was actually doing had been married for over 30 years and they had a wealth of information. Yeah. You know, like they always play those games where, you know, they do the little marriage games. Uh oh, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. Is he stuck? Maybe. He's moving. He's yeah, moving. He just, he'll just take a break. He's probably trying to. This base is so big that he's probably turned around. He better turn on his GPS. We've had to turn on our GPS because this place is just enormous. I think this is one of the bigger bases. I missed a turn. Oh, you missed your turn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we got uh, the uh, volume down so he couldn't hear. Yeah, I didn't want the volume. I didn't want the uh, navigation lady interrupting our uh, conversations and stuff. But but yeah, so we we've been to the marriage retreats and stuff like that, and some of them were helpful, but then others were just like. Yeah. Well, it's time off work. You got exactly. That off. <laughs> the, one, the one we did in Orlando, they had a nice golf course right outside the thing. Yeah. So I went on that marriage retreat just so I can get some golfing in because it was free. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's that's sad, but hey, it was nice. Nice little 
get off work vacation? Yeah, some of them you just went to just to go, but that one that we did in Schweinfurt was just the best. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So do you miss going to work? <laughs> no. <laughs> I loved I love the idea of military, uh, the army life as my career, as my job. Yeah. If you're going to have a job, I love the uh, flexibility and the variety and the service that the army offered. I felt like I was part of something really big. I love that. But if I don't need to work, I don't want to work. <laughs> I, I get it. I, get it. Look, I prayed hard for that. I'm like, God, please. I have worked for over 20 something years. That should be enough. Please, God. Bless me, Lord. Please. Yeah, that's the thing, though. You know, a lot of uh, guys who retire, they're like, man, I miss, miss Army life. But you got to remember, there was some rough days, boy. I've spent nine days sleeping on a half inch mattress on the ground in California, Fort, Ir Fort Irwin, California. I've had freezing days, I've had 130 degree days in Kuwait. It's been some rough oh, times. Sorry. You see this track right here? Yes. We need to get on it. Look yes. at that. That's a nice little walking track. See, we have not driven on this road since we've been here. See, we need this. We just found this. That's like Barton Field. But he, I always ask Donald that every now and again because he's been in the Army so long, like, he doesn't sleep past 7 o'clock. Oh, no. He's always ready for bed by 9. Mm -hmm. Like... I'm, I'm like, Donald, we're going to stay up till 11 o'clock, and by 8.30, both of us are yawning. And I'm like, I never was this person. <laughs> <laughs> Some of his um, army life rubbed off, because I don't want him to be up in the morning, and I'm not up with him. So we get up, and we get, you know, like, we work together in the mornings. So Donald will, he'll get up, <clears throat> and he'll try to be quiet. And I told him he needs to stop doing that, like, because I'm not quiet when I get up. She's not. But <laughs> I can't help it. Like, I'm trying to get used to the small space we're in. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, he'll get up in the morning. And, and sometimes when I get up, he'll be like, I made coffee. Want me to make you a cup? And I'm like, sure. So that's what he does. He makes coffee in the morning. And then I'll get up and I'll make the breakfast. So, you know, we got our little... Our little thing Routine going for there. us, yeah. Like he'll light the fire, and I'll, for the most part, I'll cook or I'll prepare like the food that we're gonna eat if we're or if we're gonna cook out. I, I'm gonna tell you what I like cooking out while we're RVing because it's so small in there. Yeah, that's and the smallest kitchen you've ever had. The, the yes, it is by and, a long shot. And. I don't want my house to smell like, or my clothes and stuff to smell like I've been cooking, if I can avoid it. Mm. So, we try to cook outside as much as we can. But I'm going to tell you, I made a mistake, like, you can, I'm, I'm learning, like, when I would get up and take my shower in the morning, I would put on my smelly lotions and stuff like that. The gnats welcome it. <laughs> the mosquitoes welcome it. Yeah, thank you Please, very much. Put, put, remember that cologne you had on yesterday? Put, put that back on. We like that. <laughs> so I'm learning stuff as we go. But anyway, we are headed to, I think my phone is getting hot because it's getting darker yeah, and darker as yeah. we go because it's a bright, sunshiny day. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. And then if we decide to go fishing or we go, we're go. we going to go over to MWR to see exactly what they offer because we did see like they had the horse riding stable but I don't know if they will allow you to ride horses so we need to go over there and just see exactly what they have to offer and then we're going to start you know getting busy. There's a spot I heard about called Russ Pond here on Fort Benning mm -hmm. that don't have alligators it's just a pond that's been stocked Okay. So we might make a ride out that way if, you, if that's something you want to consider. But are you sure there's no navigator? Not in a pond. It's like well, unless they travel, unless they walk from the river to the they, pond. They got legs. Don't they, <laughs> don't they have legs? They do have legs. No, just, I, I'm fine either way because yeah. I feel like 
it'll be okay. I think it will be okay, man. There was a yeah. lot of people out there. It, it was a lot of people. Alligators out there. aren't looking for people. They're looking for quiet places to be and stuff. So yeah, because somebody said a three foot alligator, four foot, yeah. a four foot alligator was spotted a while ago. Yeah. How, last, how recent? Last week. <laughs> But, but there was so many people down there on this weekend that he gone. He's gone. I think. Like I said, I'm gonna check it out first. I'm gonna do my little you, walk you around. You can't guarantee that. But see, here's the thing. Now y'all heard what Donald just tried to slide in on me. That's why I have to ask fact finding questions. Now he told me about this alligator, and you said three feet, but it's four feet actually, right? It's four feet. A four yeah. foot alligator, and then you go. And I'm like, but it's been a while since they. <laughs> no, that was just last week. <laughs> Maybe ten days. Ten days ago. Oh no, I'm gonna go though. Like we just have to, we just have to see what happens, y'all. But that would be so cool if we could, like, not be in danger. But if we could get one on camera, I exactly. think that would be I, if, so if there's cool. one out there, I'll get it on camera. Yeah, like, but I don't want to be in danger no. trying to do it. You know. I was, I'm going to be constantly observing the surroundings. I will say, hey, baby, let's go back to the truck real quick. And we'll head back towards the truck, and I will get my shot. <laughs> no, I want you to say, run, run. <laughs> <laughs> run, baby, run. <laughs> That's what I want you to say. Because <laughs> if he says it, come, they'll be like, where, where, No, where? see, that's the thing. Because if I say, if I say that, she might start taking off in the wrong direction. You guys it's do only it one direction to go. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it's only one to the car. <laughs> it's one way in and one way out. But the good thing is the store is right there. So we all run straight into the store. There you go. And scream bloody murder. <laughs> it's a crocodile. Get out. It's crocodile now. Crocodile. No, I mean alligator. It's a Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> it's King Kong. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll uh, see you when we decide what we're going to do. We're almost at the Walgreens, Walgreens anyway. Yeah. We're point two miles away. All right, guys. Check this out, fam. I think this is available for rent. Yep, got government license plate on it. Uh-oh. For something so small, this is nice. It's got an island. This is a perfect couple's camper. Yep. Dang. You know what, I like the bed, even though there's no room to walk in front of it, you can both walk in on the sides. Hey guys, so we just left the outdoor recreation center. Donald got a little bit of the footage, but it, it was hard to show you exactly all that they have because they have everything. Everything? Everything. everything. <laughs> Anything that you think you want to do outside, they, they have thought of it all. If you want to go boating, you could do the canoeing, pontoon boats, kayaking, kayaking uh, they got life preservers, they got paddle boats, they got trailers for your boat. <laughs> you could rent uh, travel trailers. Yeah. You know, the coupled trailers is what they what they're known for, like they have quite a few of them. Yeah, pretty decent. 
get really nice. Like any, when I tell you any and every, even lawnmowers, any and everything that you want to rent for outside, they have it at this outdoor recreation. Now, as far as the fishing license and stuff like that, you just go online and you register and you have to go and print it out at the library here. I don't think we brought a printer. So, we, so we'd have to go to the library. So we can't fish today, but we're gonna fish tomorrow. But we just left one, which I thought was cute. What was the pond? Russ Pond. It's called Russ Pond. And they fully loaded it up for the children. What is it, 15 and under? 15 and under, yeah. 15 and under. And what scared me, you ask? <laughs> They had a sign that says, snakes are present. present. Stay aware. Stay aware. I am going to have to get used to that kind of stuff. I know it, so don't even say it. I already know I'm going to have to get used to it. So I'm going to just start slow. So tomorrow when we get out there, I'm going to... <laughs> Because right now I have on like little shower shoes or whatever else, but I need to wear like full shoes and I want to wear. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm afraid of everything, but it's okay. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to do it. That's it. Hey guys. Hey, what's up, fam? So I just got off wanted to come in and quickly show you guys that I am weathering my second thunderstorm. I like that. <laughs> you like it? Like Play it. on words. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're if, as you can hear, like we're in the midst of a storm, and, and then the AC, and then the AC cuts on. <laughs> but anyway, um, we are just sitting here watching TV, and the storm is. It's not a bad storm though, but I just wanted you guys to see that I am doing better when it comes to storms. Uh, the last lightning storm almost took me out because I was just like, this can't be real life. <laughs> it was the sounds, but I'm getting used to the sounds because, you know, it's been raining quite a bit. When we were in Kentucky, I think it rained uh, four or five days straight. Yeah. And so I think I've just gotten used to it. And so I'm starting to sleep through it. But it was when we only had rain, so now we have a thunderstorm, but it's just a slight thunderstorm. Yeah. It's supposed to go until 5, p uh, 5 a.m., yeah. so we'll see how that goes. My problem is I just don't like the lightning, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just gets to me for some reason. But the windows in the bedroom are really small, and so I'm going to get myself a glass of wine, and I am going to go to sleep. And I pray that I stay asleep <laughs> until the storm is over. But if it stays like this, I'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I have to come back, you know, like uh, flash announcement or something, like news flash, news flash, we had to run over to the little laundry building over there. <laughs> But I doubt if it gets that bad. Like, no. I've been really watching the weather channels and stuff like that. So, I have alerts set on my phone. And I'm really watching. But it's just a part of this life. So, I am getting used to it. Like, honestly, like, right now, I can really just lay down and go to sleep. It, it wouldn't bother me that it's lightning outside right now. So, I mean... Somebody wrote in the in that last video, they was like, you should just lay down and listen to the sounds. And I've been thinking about that. Like every time it rains, whatever that person wrote, I've been just doing it. And it really relaxes you. But I just, like I said, I just think it was the first time. So I'm doing better with these storms, guys. <laughs> so it can only get better from here, right? What do you think, Don Juan? I think you're doing great, baby. You yeah. are, you've really grown since that first storm, and you much calmer. I mean, yeah. Th th I mean, this this was a big adjustment for me, and so I'm just asking that people just give me a chance. Like three months from now, you'll think I've been camping all my life, hopefully. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, we didn't really get to do a lot today. 
it was good weather, but we, we have things that we have to do and <laughs> trying to find the hospital on this base. I think the Donald put the information in his truck GPS. Yeah. And I don't I think we're gonna have to upgrade that one because it was showing a lot of roads that didn't exist. That didn't even exist. Yeah. And it was saying we needed to go eleven miles, but then when we put it in our phone, it was like, okay, it's one point five miles. Yeah. So <laughs> excuse me. The truck had us going in circles. Yeah. And I'm like, this is good. Like, you get frustrated, so I'm like, you know what? We'll just try this again tomorrow and see what we come up with. But uh, anyway, we are doing good. Uh, we appreciate all the support, and we will talk to you in the next clip. All right, man. All right.